And then you can see that the instrument calibrates itself. This vaccine could be the future of COVID protection in Australia. I was uh, very excited to press the button and actually produce a uh, mRNA uh, vaccine uh, this morning. The Victorian government will be the first to attempt local production of mRNA vaccines and it's taking aim at the Commonwealth for lagging behind. Victoria is taking a leadership position on this um, and, and it's the right thing to do. It would be ideal if we had national leadership on this. Unlike the current vaccines on the market, which were developed for the original COVID-19 strain, this new jab could be tailored to tackle the growing number of variants across the world. We believe that that will lead to a biasing the immune system, if you like, to producing a more neutralising set of antibodies. But it still has a long way to go before it gets into the arms of Australians and short-term supply issues are still slowing the rollout. It is fair to say uh, the Commonwealth's vaccine rollout is an absolute shambles. The demand for AstraZeneca has almost dried up since the change to the recommended age group, while supply for second doses of Pfizer is tenuous at best. The Prime Minister made it very clear to every single state and territory don't worry about second doses, we have got all that you need. You just get out and deliver your first doses. Well, the reality of that is that is wrong. A spokesperson for the Federal Health Minister says Victoria was provided with an immediate increase to Pfizer stocks, noting the Victorian government confirmed it understood it was a temporary one-off allocation, not a continuous increase. But as more cases are reported in New South Wales and Queensland, questions are being raised about whether they will receive the same treatment. I can't speak for exactly what New South Wales will get and how they'll get it, but we are continuously working with those jurisdictions so that we can provide them as much supply as we possibly can. A vaccine update from National Cabinet is expected tomorrow.